Greetings, sir and sirette, and welcome back to Cosmeteer with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to exactly where we left off in the last video, which was arguably a little bit of a cliffhanger after the battles took way too long. So I've been thinking, and I've decided... We are going to build a brand new craft. I want to build better, I want to get better at the game, and although I love my little babies here, I am not overly happy overall with them. So, let's get building a brand new craft straight away. This time, focusing on cannons and the adorable little baby lasers, or maybe even the electrobolts. I am starting to like them a lot more. Here's a question which I always end up forgetting every time I ask it. Are the ammo storages explosive? I really can't remember and that's a little bit annoying honestly. So after looking it up, it's actually quite interesting. The explosion is based on how much ammo is stored at the time of death. So if you've already used up all the ammo, it's just a box and the explosion doesn't really do anything, at least nothing major. If it's still completely full, like at the start of the fight, you're looking at a really nasty explosion. Okay, the prototype is ready for testing. Now, there's a few things I'm definitely going to be changing, but this is the basic idea for it. We have our ammo factories, we have lots of the moving walkways, we have some storage, we have four cannons, we have a little bit of point defense, and we have three shields. Because of the cost of this, however, and because of how close the reactors are, I don't want this to be in the front lines. We still want the Scarab and the Recluse to try and take the damage. This thing, which of course will be named by you lovelies in the comments, will probably stay medium range just lobbing cannon fire, which is honestly quite fun. So for now, let's do some painting. One thing I will say is this also has lower armor than the others, so it's gonna be a little bit on the weirder side. Now with the paint, we haven't really got a red one yet, have we? We have black and purple, green and kind of dark grey, and then blue and grey again. So how about red and grey? That seems reasonable to me. Not a particularly potent red, but certainly not pink either. Something like that, a bit like a crimson. Is that crimson? I don't know, I'm not quite all that good with colours. A darkish red. A blood red. Yeah, that seems reasonable to me. Okay, so the low end, this will be the blocks we just used for their colour scheme. And we want this to be the usual kind of grey. That seems reasonable to me. Okay, these will go on all the armour segments and make some stripes, just like on all the other creations, so they're all nice and themed. The more I look at it though, the more I don't like this red. May end up changing that significantly before the end, got to be honest. Well, that looks different, I've got to say. It wasn't the original intention, but it looks very, very different. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, either. I think that's okay for now. Oh, except for those stars there. Let's uh, remove those stars, shall we? Now, how are we going to use the top colours to make things pop a little bit more? How about we use a slightly lighter orange, like so? Well, once again, very different, very daring shapes on this one in comparison to usual. I do actually quite like that. How about if we do this? Well, certainly makes it obvious where the cannons are. Hmm. 
Mm, not sure about this one. I think I'll probably end up repainting this at some point, but right now I just want to test it to make sure it works okay. I have a few concerns, especially with the placement of the moving walkways and a lot of the crew quarters, so I'd like to see if those issues are actually proper issues, or if they're going to be okay. So for now, we'll just leave you as you are. And our first battle will be against the Sorrow, or Sorrow, or, or however you actually pronounce that thing. So, what do you have, sir? You have cannons, which of course we do want to kill. So, cannon, cannon. And then, honestly, I'm tempted just to say reactor, reactor. There's so many little things to destroy otherwise, so that seems reasonable to me. Okay, all stay together until it's a little bit closer. Cannon's already firing, which is great. Okay, go and do your thing, which should keep you still locked on to the same things, which is great. Same with you. Stay at max range. Any point defense? Doesn't look like it, which is good for me. And uh, can't you get a little bit further back? Yeah, you can. Atta boy. Keep the new vehicle on our little thing there so we can see how the cannons are doing. Sadly, most of them missed since it did change its ooh, course quite early on. Oh, nasty. Lots of cannon fire hitting us in the same place. And one cannon almost going through to our reactor. All that much damage done though. But still. That was a lot more vulnerable than I expected. Though to be fair it was hit by the full barrage of cannons. Yeah, needs some more internal armor. That is what I mentioned straight away. The armor on this thing is lacking. Clearly we need to make sure it's not the target during combat. Couldn't even tell if the, if the reload speed was okay. Because sadly it destroyed all the walkways. Let's try that again, shall we? Maybe we could have... Everything else a bit more forwards in the future. The next enemy is the Avalanche. And yeah, just go straight for those reactors. Separate straight away. So you can all zoom ahead. And you know what? Same for you as well. Just stay a bit further back. Max range for your cannons. Okay, go. Behold the power of the swarm, once again, leaving that on our mini-image there. Cannon's already firing, hopefully this time the first volley will actually hit. Yes, it will. Lovely, look at that. Oh, massive internal damage there from the cannon. Ripped apart the center, and yet the cannon fire is devastating the enemy. That was better. Now, how's the ammo going? Not too bad, actually. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. A little bit slow on the reload, but nothing major. Okay. Okay, so firepower, good. Survivability, very poor. Change is needed? Yes. Hotel, Travago. Next battle, catching me completely off guard because I was trying to mess around with some things, we have the avalanche again. Okay, so just like before, just go for that. Everyone, do your own thing. Hi, uh, how are you? Doom lasers, doom lasers everywhere. There's the cannon shots. Keep forgetting how slow they are. Thank you, no friendly fire. See? No actual damage. Has the explosion? No damage. So at least it still looks devastating. Oh, lord. Back. Back, 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 back. Good cannon shot there. Oh, yeah, it went straight through. Lots of damage. Oh good, the shield's actually held this time. Oh, 
Okay, good. Only minimal repairs needed. Yeah, I do need to redesign this a bit, I feel. Okay, all of you. Last couple of enemies. This time, in the correct positions, please. Hello there. The Fanged Fighter, which looks honestly tiny, and the Yacht. Yeah, two very small craft here. Just, um, do the whole kill thing, please, you know? Kill them. Actually, Recluse, you can go after this guy. You can go after the big one as well. You can go after the smaller one. You do a pretty dance, but kill this one, please. Now we're watching the locust by mistake. There we go. I mean, they're more agile than us because of how small they are, but, um... Yeah, that's about it, really. Oh, cannon fire incoming. And a missile. Stop missing the shots. Lead correctly. Seriously, you've missed that many shots. Okay, that's gonna be better. There we go. You even bounced it slightly. Oh, missile to the side. Oh, it's the storage that keeps on saying, um, ammo out. I was wondering at the end there, they were clearly shooting, so how were they out of ammo? But no, it's the ammo storage that was used. That makes more sense. Now, shall we brave an elite area, or should we just do another veteran? This is still a testing episode, I'm not completely happy with the cannon craft right now, but I kind of want to try an elite area, just because... The first elite enemy is the Death Box. Well then. That is... Yep, that is a Death Box. Similar building style to how I built some of mine in the past. We're dead. Uh, honestly, I... Yeah. That's all I can think of doing, so... Um, good luck. But you are dead. Just... Let's be truthful about this. The burst fire on this thing is going to be utterly insane. On the upside, it's pretty hard to miss how big it is. There we go, there we go. Yes, cannon fire, thank you so much internal damage. I bet the same is for us, though. Yep, we're already on fire. No, we're not. We're on fire. We're out of ammo. That's significantly better than being on fire. Thank you. Thank you again. I'm guessing that was some power storage there. Yeah, this thing will probably run out of power, though. Oh, Lord, just kill it faster, please. Um, this, this. You, why are you so far away? Is there any reason for this? That must have been from before when I ran away with it. Darn it, this whole time one of the recluses was just sitting there, not even fighting. I'm not even bothering to aim at individual little bits. There are so many things to shoot at. Just hit it. Oh god, that went fun. Oh lord. That's actually really cool. I kind of want a ship that does that. Uh, new vehicle. Back off. Ran out of cannons anyway. Yep, ran out of cannons. I think we're going to win, which is actually quite surprising. They're all aiming for that reactor, but there's so much armor and things to get through. Thank you, explosions. Okay, you're being focused on a little bit. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, kill that then. Go back, back to firing at the reactors. 
That's not a reactor, that's one specific piece of armor. But you know what? You can do that if you want. You do you. I feel like this would have been actually quite an easy fight for a missile craft. Like one of these spam ones I used before. 179,000. Not bad at all. The problem is, this is going to be expensive. Okay, we actually gained a lot of money from that. I am very surprised. I knew you would win, guys. I never doubted it for a second. There is a fleet of three. Um, let's wait a second. We don't really want to fight four things at once, which are most likely more expensive than us. Can you two please get away from each other just a little bit? Okay. I don't trust you three. I'm watching you. Hello! Next enemy! The... That's a name! Yep, that's definitely a name. What do we go for here? Uh, reactor, 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 honestly. Once again, there's just so much stuff trying to pick off little bits with these type of weapons would just be pointless. So just try to destroy the whole thing, I suppose. Make sure you're all at the correct ranges this time. That would be nice now, wouldn't it? Yeah, I want all of your weapons to be able to fire, including the short-range uh, energy weapons. That would be lovely. Oh, well, it does have missiles. We do have some point defense, but not on these craft. Oh, yes, we do. I forgot about that. Good. Good. Here, missiles for you as well, friend. Change area you're firing at, please. That'd be great. Hello! I'm giving you a hug. There we are. Some of our cannon fire coming in, doing quite a lot again. Cannon fire can be so devastating compared to the other weapons. Oh! Oh! So close to knocking out the reactor. Hopefully some fires have been started, though, by the cannon shots. You are actually- oh no. Oh no, 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 no! Crud- um, let's get you moving. Kill it! Quickly! You're doing well, but faster, please. Oh no. Oh, I should have been paying more attention. No, 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 no! Good! Massive internal explosions. Death for everyone. Take out the last reactors, please! You can carry on against him, you can move against that guy back there. I know it's weird, but I think that might be the best idea. Okay. Good, you've turned around us in time. To get a front full of laser. Oh, that's great. Well, by laser, I meant electricity. Anyway, uh, who am I using right now? I meant to see you. That's so annoying. Okay, yeah, sure. Just take out that reactor. You. Go against him and stay as far back as you can. You change target now, knock out you. Okay. Just one good shot will finish this. Thank you, that's definitely done some damage. Really? You're getting behind me like that? Well, take some lasers to the side, why don't you? This enemy breaking up into even more enemies has made this really confusing for me. Kill him! Oh, a cannon shot just hit the scout, and look at that! Utter devastation. Beautiful. The locusts just shrink out of here. A clue, okay, you're dead. Go after him now. You turn the hell around. You go after him. Pausing this time, you kill the scout. Same with you. Hello! I 
don't mind you staying in this area for once. I really hate the fact the missiles don't go always for who you're aiming at. Please fire a cannon shot, please fire a cannon shot, please fire a cannon shot, please, you're at blank range, it would be awesome. Thank you! Oh, that is delicious, look at that! Finally! Are you still firing? Oh no. Somebody use those sonic fire extinguishers! The fact the scout's still alive is honestly quite impressive. Okay, oh, okay, let's repair before the fire gets worse. Only 24,000? Really? We did really well! <laughs> Okay then, guys, you have impressed me today. I still think the Locust is in dire need of some changes. Uh, the Recluse is probably my favourite still for all-round usefulness. Uh, the Cannon Ship is doing well, but clearly I tried too many different things and it's not really working out. We could make it smaller and still have the same aggression, or we could make it better and tankier. I don't really mind either way. We have 500,000 left though in terms of money, so we could have a swarm of these needed to be improved locust, or we could just add a couple more recluse to the, ma to the mix. I would say in order of what needs to be retrofitted and improved, first of all the scarab. You were great at the start, you're kinda worthless now to be perfectly honest, though I do love you. Then the locust, then the Model S, which of course I would like you all to name in the comments, please. Is that an S or a 5? Either way, it needs to be changed. And then finally, the Recluse needs the least work. It's cheap-ish, it does enough damage-ish, and it survives damage-ish. It's a very ishy good thing. So with that though, I am afraid I am all out of time for today's episode. I've just recorded this after the last one, so it's a rarity for that to occur, and I really need to rest my voice. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff, helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Cosmetia is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye. Give me names. Thank <laughs> you.